Hi everyone, today I will share something very interesting with y'all. Have you ever wanted to experience head tracking in American Truck Simulator? Head tracking devices usually cost over $100, with the good ones costing nearly $300. In this video, you will learn how to get head tracking for about one tenth of that amount, only $30 max. And you don't have to worry about the setup process as it's really simple and I'll walk you through it. The software that I'm going to talk about today is Be My Tracker. This works really well with both American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. Makes it much more convenient to look around while driving and makes your overall tracking experience much more immersive. So what does this software really do? Well, it uses your webcam um, to track your eyes and head movement and basically simulates that in the game. Here are a few things you need to have to make this work. First, you need Be My Tracker, which you can get by using the link in description for the best price. Then you need Open Track, another software that we'll be needing. And then third, you need a regular webcam. And that's it. That's all you need. All right, now let's see how to actually get this software to work. I launched it before, but I did not set anything up. So let's do it together. Let's launch. So as we launch the app, we're going to walk through the whole setup process. So it's easier for you once you get the app. So the first time you open it, it's going to uh, give you this privacy notice about your webcam being used in real time. You have to let the app use your webcam because that's how it's going to track your um, eye movement however it's not it's going to be processed locally on your device so it's not going to be connected to the internet so there is not going to be any privacy issue hopefully so first thing we're going to do we're actually going to launch the quick setup here this is going to help us take care of everything so first of all it asks you to choose your camera so you're going to you choose your webcam and this is my webcam so i'm going to choose that the resolution I think 720p so it should be fine uh, should pick up the eye movement and everything so let's go next now this is asking you where your camera is located so if it's above the uh, on top of the screen then you will choose this if it's down below you choose this so mine is over my monitor so I'm gonna choose this and then it's asking about the tilt like the angle of the camera mine is about zero degrees it's not really facing downwards so I'm gonna go with no tilt all right now it's looking at my camera and it's trying to figure out my eye movements so we're gonna calibrate now let's start all right so we're gonna have to look at the dot the center of the dot with our eyes and then click on it. So I'm looking dead straight here. Click and now top left. I'm gonna move my head slightly towards that and click. And now to the top right, click. Bottom right, click. Bottom left, click. All right, that did the calibration. Now from here you will enable gaming extension. Just click here to enable it. Let's go and you can read through this but I'll show you how to install. So before that let me actually show you the other software that we gotta download which is open track. You're gonna come to Google and search for open track. Then it's gonna be the second one right here on GitHub. Click on the latest version. This is 2024 and then scroll down here we'll see the setup file the exe file that's the one we're gonna download click that you can ignore the message here and run the app anyway uh, because it's safe and install it like you would install any other application just follow the instructions i'm not gonna do it because i already did it now we're actually going to open 
open track so you can search here or from the menu choose open track now I will show you the settings I have for both open track and for be my tracker I suggest that you copy those settings for a smooth experience so let's um, just start with be my tracker first and then we'll come back to open track so let's go to be my tracker settings and yet so these are the hit settings I have right now you can choose to have both hit and gaze tracking or just hit tracking um, that's up to you for now I'm just gonna keep it hit and gaze tracking and then these are the settings that you're going to copy make sure your settings look exactly like this and you don't really have to worry about the other parts you can choose to enable privacy filter but that's up to you but this is the main section that you want to copy exactly as mine once that done just hit save and exit now I'm going to show you how to take care of uh, open track so for from the input list you're gonna choose iWare beam that's the one we're using output will remain this and for input choose this one the second one I just chose and profile is gonna remain the default one no need to change that and that's basically it now you can hit start and make sure that when you're moving your head around the octopus is also moving around make sure it's smooth and I, you're ready to go open your game now and enjoy your head tracking so go to steam launch either american truck simulator or euro truck simulator whichever one you want to try it with once you're in the game it should automatically detect that you are using this so whenever you go into first person view it should uh, have head tracking enabled so as you can see i'm able to play euro truck simulator 2 with head tracking enabled and it really doesn't interfere with my me playing or driving the truck I can freely move around and as you play more with it it starts to feel more natural you can look around you can look to your left to see for oncoming traffic you can look to the right just uh, as much as you need also you can look down up to your right on the seat on the dashboard you can look at the infotainment I really like how you can like lean forward to uh, take a better look at the info on the gauge cluster you can look at the speed the fuel you have mileage and all those stuff usually it's like hard to see because uh, they're a bit far away and the texts are a bit smaller so you have to use the zoom function but when you're doing eye tracking it's much more convenient you just lean forward and you can take a look at your dash and it just makes the game more immersive feel more realistic because you know it's replicating your actual head movement so you can actually you know look down look left look at the mirrors and uh, not interfere with your drive it will not interfere with your driving because you don't have to you know uh, take one of your hands off the steering wheel and place it on the mouse to look right or, right or left so it's very convenient and I really like using it in the game I definitely suggest you also give it a try you could get a monthly subscription for five dollars or also try a free demo on Steam so if you just want to check it out you could do that but if you want to get a lifetime license you have to pay thirty dollars you can check the link in description for the best available price so yeah let me know what you think about this and if you do end up trying let me know if it's helpful and if you run into any issues feel free to comment down below i'll try my best to help you out with that so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one